It's sunny, I'm back, and so are you. And we're enjoying our winter backdrop, and I'm making a quick little video for you guys. Today is Saturday, the Saturday before Christmas. And how exciting is that? Everybody's rushing around, except moi. I'm done, yay! And so I wanted to say, let's have a box opening, okay? So we're gonna start with just some of my junk that I ordered from um, Wish, okay? So we got two out of the 11 th items that we've ordered from Wish so far. So we're not looking only for whether we get it or not. <laughs> we're also gonna be paying close attention to the quality so we can figure out if we're gonna ever order and waste our money on that company again. So let's open this little one first. Okay. And let's see, I got my knife. How's everybody doing? You need to uh, post on Chatterbox the picture of your Christmas trees, the pictures of your decorations out in front of your house, pictures of your cookies, pictures of your kids, your stockings. Let's just share. And I'm going to be putting up some pictures of my tree too. Okay. Finally got it open. Ta da! So, oh, let's see. I think I paid $2 for this and $3 shipping. So, this was five whopping dollars. <laughs> okay, this is a uh, this is a cover for my cell phone. It looks pretty. Ooh, it's soft. Can you tell it's like that fake fur? Yeah. And it's got like a little bling bling. Here's the back where it's got a puka for my camera. Oh, that's pretty. You know, at the NEX over at Pearl Harbor across the other side of, the, um, uh, across the mountain, they have a kiosk that sells these exact same kind of things and they were charging like $35 for them. Ridiculous. I told her, I said, all I need to do is take a case and trace it out from some fake fur that I get at Ben Franklin Hobby store and uh, put some hot glue on it and glue it. <laughs> I don't need to be spending no $35. Now, because it's new, oh, I was having trouble getting this open. Guess what? It's magnetic. Magnetico. Oh, this is magnetic too. Oh. Wow. So inside here, now I wonder if this comes off. I better not pry too much. So you've got a couple of, you can put your driver's <coughs> license and your ID card. It looks like well, it looks like, but it does not have a slit here that you could put a couple dollar bills. It doesn't have that, okay? This is really primitive stuff. <coughs> you can put your cell phone in there. You can close it. That's about it. I would say it might be worth $2. <laughs> but it's pretty. Okay, girls. Now you know where you can get your pretty pretties for cheap. Don't buy them at Amazon even for $9 and then $10 shipping. But you may or may not receive it. And we've had two of our subscribers say they had really had to get refunds for things that did not show up and then had bad quality. So buyer beware. Like my mom always said, there's a sucker born every minute. Let's not be that sucker. Okay, this is the next item. I hope it's gonna be good because 
after it's time to take this backdrop down, this is going to be the new backdrop. If it's good. <laughs> Ooh. And they even put it in a separate little Ziploc bag. Now, this is wonderful because I can store this, as you might be able to tell, if the little man in the camera would please focus. As you might be able to tell, it's a sunflower. It is a tapestry. Oh my. Look. Well, it's kind of a weird material, um, but um, I don't think I care when it's hanging up behind me. And wow, it's huge, huh? The sunflower. Here, Dennis, hold one in. You can't see Dennis, but my associate asso associate producer is over there. <laughs> Well, this is really, I think, going to be pretty. And we'll find out in a couple weeks, right? <laughs> I'll put it up. After you wash it. Dennis says after I wash it, but I don't think I want to wash it. Even if you wash it in cold. Even if I wash it in cold, I don't think I want to wash it. We shall see. Just leaving it out. That's what I've read from people that got these tapestries that they needed to be aired out because of the plastic bag that they had put them in, which is now on the floor. <laughs> Anyhow, we're going to try to air it out first and look for cleaning, cleaning the kinds on the edge. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, no, they don't tell us if you can wash it or not. So it'll be an experiment. Okay, putting that on the side now. Putting that way over there. Way over there. It's going to be fun. Okay, now I feel like I need. Hey, babe, could you do me a big favor? Pick those up and hand them to me. Oh, you might have noticed my beautiful nails. Guess what? I spent $6 on these nails. <laughs> the company called Kiss has a new style, and it's called Impress. And it's got a new adhesive stuck to the back sides of these nails and uh, you simply pull off the adhesive cover and put it on your finger and hold it down for a minute <laughs> again I feel like the little baby in um, the dinosaur <laughs> show from the 80s um, and then you just press it and you press it really hard and um, yeah the pressure makes the adhesive uh, active and they stay on great. Um, I've been able to keep these on, well today is the second day, but um, my other set was on for like three or four days and that was with hand washing, even one or two sets of doing the dishes, um, which I know I'm supposed to put plus rubber gloves on. But aren't they pretty for six bucks? And they're a lot. They're not damaging to your nails at all. When they start to come loose, you can just take a little orange stick and slide it under the corner and you're real easily to lift them up. And they don't hurt your nails. So my nails are starting to um, recuperate from that um, acrylic debacle. So. I was thinking we should do a live pretty soon and I'm going to make a video of my Christmas tree. I wanted to wipe my hands with um, a lovely wet ones. <laughs> I know I feel like I'm doing commercials. 
Um, because that stuff from China, I don't know about it. That's why if I'm, if I'm going to break down and watch that thing, I might take it to like a washeteria and put it in one of their little washers. I don't want to put it in my washer. <laughs> okay. Now, the piece de resistance. Oh, I can't, I can't show it. I almost showed her address. I didn't show her address. Please tell me I didn't show her address. But she wanted to see the address. <laughs> this is from Janice. And we're going to open it. Oh, I got, I got my knife. It's starting to open. Let's see if in the inside if there's anything written. Nope, she just used the paper. Okay. And now I have her return address. Yay! I'm going to be careful not to lose it. Grandma Sunny's, or Auntie Sunny, or Mama Sunny, whatever you like to call me, whatever I am to you gonna try to turn try really really hard gonna turn over new leaves this year I'm gonna be getting thinner I'm gonna be getting healthier I'm gonna be getting more consistent I'm going to accomplish a lot okay oh it starts out with a card Sunny can open on camera yay Hi, Janice. Love you. Oh, now that's right. Um, I did get that Christmas card from Meadow with the beautiful picture of her family. So awesome. I should keep that and I'm going to make like a little um, scrapbook of all the stuff, the, the pictures and everything. And then it'll be fun to look through when I'm 85. Okay. <laughs> It'll be fun to look through before then. Mary, warm wishes. Dear Sunny, hi Dennis. Wishing you an amazing Christmas. These are my traditional Italian lemon cookies. Ooh, kind of dry, but great with coffee. Enjoy. Love Janice, hugs and kisses. Oh, we will enjoy. We love our coffee. And it's got ho, ho, ho. She threw this in just like I threw it in, <laughs> threw the paper in to Peter's box. And I was like, well, I could wrap all that stuff, but then if he wanted to open it on camera, he's got to sit there and unwrap each and every package. And that'd be kind of humbug. He ain't got time for that stuff. That's how he says it, right? I get time for that stuff. So I just threw the paper inside the box. <laughs> I know that's goofy, but I like it. I like it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. And she put bubble wrap so it wouldn't get broken. Oh, I'm not waiting until we get coffee. Oh no. Although my new Keurig is working great. Did I tell you guys I had to take it back because the first one we got was a bummer and it stopped. Oh, look at each one wrapped with such love and a little piece of tape. And now, Bachi, Bachi the Muncher, she's a hoochie coocher, Minnie the Moocher. Yeah, I'm going to taste them. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. Can you see that? There you go. Mmm. These are so good. Mmm. Next year, maybe we should have a Christmas um, cookie recipe trade. Let's do that. Is it too late to do it now? Mmm. Only the people that drink booze would be able to make my mama's um, rum balls. That little 
man in the camera. He's going to get fired if he doesn't start focusing. I'll replace him. Mmm. <laughs> These are so good. Here, Dennis. You have one, too. But it is. She's right. It's going to be great with um, coffee. They're like little biscuits of pillowy joy. Mmm. Mmm, so tasty. We could give each other our favorite Christmas cookie recipe. The ones that don't get, um, if there's, um, if there's cookies that don't get moldy, we could ship them to each other. We could do like a swap. Oh, this is so good. And I like the fact that I can take little bites and I can make one cookie last. That's so perfect. Mm. You know what, Janice? It makes me wish that I had bought some um, decaf K-cups so that I could have some right before bed and not worry that it was going to keep me awake. Mm. So I could eat these at nighttime, too. Maybe with some eggnog. Ooh. I don't know, but the lemon flavor is so perfect. Maybe it would be better with like a hot cup of tea. But I don't have a favorite tea either because I'm not really a tea drinker. Mm. Okay. Mm. Two thumbs up. I just really like them. And a festive little Ziploc bag. Love them. Now, see, times like this, when I'm glad that I don't have my daughter and my granddaughters and everybody's brother over here at the house, because then we'd have to share them with all those people. <laughs> Dennis and I get them all to ourselves. Nanny. Except the dogs are really looking at us with a stink eye. Mmm. So, get a little sip of water. Mm. I really like them, Janice. Good job. So, I'm going to make a pumpkin crunch, I think. Now, I was looking online. I noticed that some people in the mainland, they make what they call a pumpkin crunch, but it's not the Hawaii style. So, maybe I should teach you the Hawaii style. It's basically very similar, but it, it's more thicker on the pumpkin pie portion and um, not so thick on the, the um, cake mix portion. And um, then what we do is when it's cooled down for about 10 minutes because we've put um, parchment or wax paper on the bottom part where we put, poured the pumpkin pie filling stuff then we put a pan on top of the other pan and we flip it up after we go around the edges to make sure it's loose flip it up so the cake mix crust that's on the top, it becomes its crust on the bottom. Now, some people just mix, uh, put, put a little whipped cream on top. I want to try this time uh, a thing that I saw where you take a little bit of softened um, cream cheese and a little bit of powdered sugar, not a whole lot, a couple drops of vanilla, and some Cool Whip, and you mix that up and you can frost it. So I'm gonna put a light frosting on like that and you cut them into bars. So yummy. It's kind of like the best world of pecan, I mean, not pecan pie, pumpkin pie and a bar cookie. So anyhow, that's very, very popular. There's probably not a family in Hawaii that doesn't make them, okay? so. Anyhow, I hope you've been having a fun season, 
And before you know it, Zip Zap, it's going to be over. That's what I hate about Christmas, is the anticipation is exciting. And then you blink your eyes two times and you're in January. I don't like that. So I think we should just decide we're going to have Christmas all the time. <laughs> Anyhow, I love you guys. And leave your comments below. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe and the button so that you'll be notified. For those of you that have not been consistently get notification, my best suggestion, because I have heard this from other YouTubers, um, that this has been happening a lot. So the best suggestion I have for you is to hit the subscribe, um, unsubscribe button and unsubscribe. Then close down your YouTube app. Then open a brand new YouTube app, fresh. Hopefully, hopefully it opens up. Do a search, find my channel again, hit the subscribe, and then hit the bell. Ding, 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 ding! <laughs> we want some service, darn it! And then check and see if you get the notifications more consistently, okay? Some people have had that work. Don't know what's up, but I would imagine with as huge of a community as YouTube is, that they're bound to have their servers have glitches now and then. So, pretty soon, now we got the community button, so you can leave messages there, and I leave messages for you. And welcome to our four new um, subscribers. Welcome to our Ohana. We love adding to the family, and we hope that you're having a great holiday season. And we look forward to getting to know you uh, if you see that we're having a live, please pop on and say hello, because we're all about building community, making friends with one another, and being there as a support system for each other, and just sharing life through the airwaves. We've got friends that are living in Saudi Arabia, one in Dubai, a couple of them are in New Zealand. We got one or two in Scotland, one in UK. Hi, Kate. And then a bunch spread all over the mainland. So, and we got one other lady that lives here in Hawaii with me. She's down in Waikiki side though, and I'm on the windward side. So anyhow, sending you lots of love. And I'm going to be saying Meli Kalikimaka to you when I do my video of my tree. I love my tree because it is very whimsical. Um, it is very eclectic. Um, we have collected bulbs from all over the world. Back when Pier 1 was here, we made a deserted uh, effort to pick bulbs, um, balls from all different parts of the world. And we left their little price tag on because it told the country it was from. We got some Hallmark ones. One of my favorite ones that I got at the Hallmark store is a little slot machine and you can actually pull the lever down and the things spin around and it lights up and it goes ding, 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 ding. And that's really fun. Um, and every year we add a couple new ones. I've got a ton of them from Starbucks. And that was before I got all um, angry at Starbucks. And now I don't hardly ever go. Maybe three times a year I'll go to Starbucks. But I used to go there all the time. Oh, Dennis. No, he didn't. I thought he turned on the one that runs. We got a few that run by battery. And so we leave them off so that the battery. But anyhow, I will show you those up close and personal soon. But I'm going to say good night. And you have a great day, and maybe if it's possible tomorrow, um, maybe I can do a live for an hour or two. So that would be really fun. We'll see how my day goes. Alrighty? Love you guys very much. Sending hugs and kisses. And I will see you tomorrow. Let's cross our fingers for luck. And love you guys. For you new people, this is called me having a hard time hanging up.
because I always feel like I'm talking to you on the phone. And poor Sunny, she has a hard time saying goodbye to her peeps. Love you guys. Aloha.